Transpiration is an important physiological phenomenon found in plants whereby they lose water in the form of water vapor from the aerial parts and into the atmosphere. About 98-99% to of the water absorbed by a plant is lost through the process of transpiration. Hardly 0.2% is used in photosynthesis while the remaining is retained in the plant during growth. There are four major types of transpiration. Stomatal, cuticular, lenticular, and bark transpiration. Transpiration is an inevitable consequence of photosynthesis because for adequate photosynthesis to take place, a large surface area must be exposed to the atmosphere to absorb sunlight and carbon dioxide. A leaf which is permeable to CO2 will also inevitably be permeable to water vapor. Transpiration is essential for the movement of water and solutes from the roots to the aerial parts of plants. However, transpiration often tends to occur in excess, especially during hot, dry, and sunny days, resulting in excessive water loss from the plants and causing wilting of the leaves. Transpiration is therefore often termed as a necessary evil. Transpiration is affected by several external and internal factors such as light intensity, atmospheric temperature, wind, stomatal opening or closing, shape and abundance of leaves in plants, etc. The phenomenon of transpiration can be demonstrated using a simple experiment. There are two methods you can use for this experiment, the plastic bag method and the bell jar method. In this video, I'm going to show both methods. You may choose one of these two to perform your experiment. For this experiment, we're going to need the following. Bell jar and a glass plate or a large transparent plastic bag. A potted plant, sticky tape and scissor. Let's begin. For the bell jar method, take a potted plant. Cover the pot and the soil in the pot using a plastic bag. Seal the opening of the bag around the base of the plant stem using sticky tape. Put the potted plant on the glass plate and cover it with a bell jar. Leave the setup in sunlight for a few hours. Alternatively, you may use the plastic bag method for this experiment. For this, take a potted plant, cover the plant using a large plastic bag, Seal the opening of the bag around the base of the stem of the plant using sticky tape. Leave the setup in sunlight for a few hours. After a couple of hours, observe the interior walls of the bell jar or the plastic bag. If transpiration has indeed taken place, you can see tiny droplets of water on the interior walls of the bell jar or the bag. These droplets were formed as a result of the condensation of water vapor released from the aerial parts of the plant through the process of transpiration.